Hey, Rachel, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, thanks, Herbert. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah. So you're back in Boulder? Yes, um, we we flew back pretty much. Uh, we got back on Wednesday after the race, and then um, I had we had my parents visiting for a week, so we went up to Vale for the weekend and chilled out. And now we're back in Boulder. Were you a good tour guide for them, or were your legs too tired from the race? No, I think that was pretty good. I mean, we did some good walking up in the mountains and down here, and um, the weather's actually been amazing like it's perfect fall weather so we kind of were able to kind of get out and about so it was good but there was quite a lot of sleeping too <laughs> yeah well i think you had a great race in kona mm -hmm. i Thanks. think um i would assume that you were reasonably pleased yes yeah absolutely absolutely um you, you led for a good while mm -hmm. and then um did you, I don't think you're the person who looks over the shoulder to see who's coming. Did you hear footsteps or how did that work? Um, during, like I could tell I was getting information that my, my lead, that Rini was eating up my lead at a, a fair rate. So, I mean, I, did, I wasn't looking back, I was looking forward, but when I think it was around 14 mile mark, you know, you feel all the media coming up and people wanting to get the shot of the past <laughs> so I knew she was coming probably you know a couple of minutes before she actually uh, did pass me so. did you not try to shush the media go away people go away people no 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 I was, I was pretty um introvert introverted at that point and kind of just focusing on going as fast as I can and um yeah but I, I was still with it enough to know that it was going to be this was kind of like the big shot of the women's race, as it were, because the uh, Rini had like taken eight minutes off me in fourteen miles. So yeah, and then um, but she came by. She was flying basically. She was really there was no hanging on. No, like I I obviously thought back to the point where she passed me and thought, you know, could I have just picked up my pace and just to maybe rattle. Really at all, but you know she's experienced and she was flying, and she was going to make sure she came past me at a speed significantly quicker than I was going to kind of stamp her. You know, it's psychological as much as anything. I mean, she was actually moving a lot quicker than me, but um, I think especially after so last year she got so close to uh, going past Leander, I, I knew yeah, she was going much quicker. I couldn't have hung on um but I think after after Rinia made the initial pass and she, she got a good gap but then I I just I did start to eat back into some of the lead that she'd got over me but then I think she must have got word or she got a, a second wind because then the, the gap grew again um probably a, just a mile or so out of the energy lab um but yeah I think you had a great race altogether, I think, and uh, I guess you're, you you felt very good about the swim. You had a solid swim and came out where you wanted to be out of the water. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I've, I've had, like, leading into the last month, as, as a friend told me, I never have a smooth run into a race, and there's always a little drama, and I'd, I'd kind of irritated a disc in the upper part of my back so my swimming had been a bit up and down but it had all clicked and I was swimming really well in the kind of two weeks leading up to the race and for me it was great to put the demons of last year's Kona where I did miss the front pack to sleep and I felt very comfortable and um, I think it was the conditions meant that the women stayed in a big pack whereas if we'd had a bit more chop I'm sure some of the Strongest swimmers like Jody Swallow or Haley Chura would have tried to put in some surges to break it up a bit, but as it was, it was it was like swimming in the swimming pool. So we all stayed together. Um, so that that was a fairly large women's lead group that set out on the bike, like six, mm -hmm. seven women, I think. And um, did you think that would change the dynamics of the race? That the pack was fairly strong with some fairly strong cyclists in it. Yeah, um, 
I I mean I would have preferred a smaller pack I think I think seven was too much for us to work effectively together and I think you saw that in the way it was a quick it was a quick bike out to Harvey because we had a tailwind but I also think when you've got seven or eight people in a pack maybe you don't actually work as well together as you would if there were three or four where you see that everyone's doing some work so I felt like um, the pace was you know sometimes it was good and then it would really back off and then it would be good again um, but it's very difficult in those with the tailwind conditions to kind of actually break away from everyone and everyone in that group was a strong rider so um, I think had we seen the crosswinds of last year, maybe it might have broken up a bit earlier. But um, as it was, we were all pretty much together probably for the first uh, 60 or 70 miles, I think. Yeah. And then um, coming back, I think it was down to four or five of you. I think it split up. It split up a little bit, kind of passed quite high. Yeah, I... Um... I put in a couple of surges on the way back down from Harvey to Kauai, but I didn't manage to make, you know, I kind of would break away, but the gap would be bridged. Um, but at Kauai, Kauai High, like on some of the rollers, um, Meredith, myself and Jody broke away from the group. And then we started to kind of open up a few gaps. I know that Michelle Vesterby kind of didn't make, make it into the group, but then she was kind of closing the gap to us in the latter stages coming into co into town. Uh, did you get any word where Yvonne Van Vlerken or uh, Miranda Carfrey were? Um, we were, I think we probably got three updates uh, for the whole bike course, because I think it was a very different dynamic. We've not really seen a group of that size in the women's group. So it was quite, quite funny because normally you have like maybe one, three people in a pack, but it was like this, the whole, first top half of the whiteboard was just the pack and then we were getting information to, so I knew that Rini was riding really well because at Harvey she was only two minutes or two and a half minutes back which I think looking at the swim splits meant she actually made up time on the group in the first part of the bike um, and then you could see Yvonne coming through and yeah you, you kind of got a feel for what was happening um in, with the second pack of swimmers coming through. But does that really impact you much? Or do you really think about that much? Or is that kind of just general additional information? Or is that something that plays in your head? Uh, you definitely use the information. I mean, I don't think there was anyone in that first pack that was... Well, when we turned around at Harvey, you know, we could see that Rinny wasn't that far behind and we all know what Rinny's capable of on the run. Um, she showed that she's absolutely solid on the, the bike and the, the swim too. And so no one was happy when they saw it. It was only like three minutes. And I think there was a feeling amongst the stronger bikers that it's okay, now we have to pull our fingers out and actually try and make some more time up three minutes isn't going to be enough to hold Rinny at bay. <laughs> Eight minutes wasn't enough. 13 minutes wouldn't have been enough. <laughs> well, I guess, but also she ran so well. Uh, yeah. That is really just, yeah. that, that was just a phenomenal uh, performance altogether. But I I'm, think, I think uh, to go back to you, I think uh, it was close, just the same. I mean, like it could have gone either way, I think. Uh, and um, I think second place is, is grained in the, in the scheme of things. No, absolutely. And I think it's um, the way we're built as any competitive being, you know, I've got to think back to how I felt when I was, you know, I knew like with about two or three miles to go that I wasn't going to close the gap and it was time to kind of enjoy the fact I was coming second. So kind of running through town, I kind of tried to soak it up and I've got to remember that feeling when I crossed the line and I was delighted and really happy with the performance I'd put in and it's only when you get to kind of 10 days you know after the race is when you really start looking at the race and you have to learn you have to learn from every race you do so it would be stupid if I just said well that was a great race end of story I've got to look at what I can improve next year and that's when you start thinking 
oh, was that, t should I have got, tried on the bike at that point? Should I have done this? And I mean, that, I'm not going to take away the satisfaction I got from the race, but, um, you know, I, I want to win the race. So I've got to look back at the race and think, okay, what can I do better next year to try oh. and go one place better? Oh, 100%. I mean, like, if, if you don't think that you can do it and that you want, if you don't have that in your head, it's not going to happen. You need to want to be there and yeah. work on it, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So um, what's what's I think you're headed to Cozumel to this this at, at the end of this year. Yeah, I mean the original plan before Kona was I was going to go there and be um, this like Brett my my boyfriend is racing so I had these grand ideas of sitting on the beach and watching him with a margarita in my hand but um, I'm actually going to go there and race now so. Um, yeah, I've kind of had a couple of weeks to recover and I'll be kind of getting back into training um, in the next couple of days for that. Well, I hope that you and Brett get to enjoy a couple of margaritas on the beach either way, maybe yeah, after yeah. the race. I think it might be after the race. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, thanks for the chat. Yeah, no, thank you, Herbert. And we will see you soon. Yeah, great. Thank you.